Oh. Hi, you guys! Hello! We are all here at Brindley's house. It is morning time. We are starting early today. This is probably the earliest we've, we've filmed videos. We've all had our workouts in, and it's not even nine yet. Yeah. Riley Honestly. watched all the babies this morning, Hi, which was so nice. Quincy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Brooksy. We got Quinn. Say just somewhere. June is asleep in her car seat. We're still waiting on Riley. She babysat the girl, the babies this morning, but then she needed more time to get ready. So we're letting her have her time. Yeah. She better look fire when she gets here. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out for a second. We are doing a really fun Q&A today. We sent in questions on our Instagram and we're gonna answer a bunch because we haven't done one in a while. And I feel like there's questions that are new. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll see. So we'll get into that in just a second. Quincy, say hello to everybody. Can you say hi? Good job! Good job. Yes! Hey, Brooksy. Yes. yes. Okay, Brooksy, it's your turn. <gasps> say hi. Can you say hi? Say hi, everybody. Before we start the q and I'm gonna quickly make my AG1. This has been my essential part of a morning routine. Lindsay, you too, right? Oh yeah, I already drank mine. In the shower. <laughs> this is essential to my morning routine, you guys. You just add in your single scoop. Single scoop. I do cold, cold. Wow, I'm filming terribly. <laughs> okay, sorry. And you do cold, cold water. Yes, cold add water. ice. Yes. It has helped a ton with muscle recovery, my energy levels, my skin, gut health, literally everything. Okay, so I need to just quickly mention this because truly it has changed the game for me. And this is probably too much information, but if you know me, my di digestion and my, you know what, see, my digestion. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, like I can struggle with digestion and that means I struggle with, you know, sometimes getting things out of my body and it sucks and i started drinking ag1 like religiously i've been on a strict routine every single morning and when i say it has never been better like i am the most regular i've ever been in my entire life and i can attest to this because there was like a four day period where i we were traveling and i forgot to take it and literally immediately like after those four days of missing it i went back to having extremely painful issues not good like it's absolutely insane how much it has just regulated me and made everything regular and seamless, which we love. So I just had to share that because like, I've never seen a product work this well for my body and it's been so awesome. But we love AG1, so many benefits. Like Brinley said, like it's great for muscle recovery, for energy support, energy levels, which I feel like I can say that that has really worked for me That's too, worked, because with yeah. a non-sleeping baby, I still feel like I can function throughout the day. I just. I cannot emphasize enough. We love AG1 so the best, much. The best. So another incredible thing is it's so, well, it's first of all, just so easy to add into your every single day routine, but they make it even better because you get these, you can get travel packs as well. So we actually took these to Lake Powell with us and every morning. Game changer. Game changer. And we got some new people on it too while we were there. So even our really dad fun. tried it. Yes. And he said he liked the taste. Which Josh is picky, so he that was picky. that was awesome. But you guys can go to drinkag1.com slash Arnold Sisters to start um, trying your AG1. We love it so much. Plus, AG1 is so nice, and they're giving a free one-year supply of the... Oh, right Brooks here. is holding it. Oh, good job, Brooksy. Of the <laughs> vitamin D3 and K2, plus five travel packs with your first purchase. So such a like awesome perk. So go check it out. Thank you so much, AG1, for sponsoring this video. Yeah. Um, let's, let's get into our Q&A. Q &A. Riley? Wait, where is she? Did Riley make it? 
Give us some, give us in the sun. Riley's here. She's playing with Sage. What are you doing? She's doing work. You doing some work? Tell her what you're doing, Sage. I'm trying to turn it on. You're trying to turn it on. Okay, we gotta go film a video. So do you wanna stay? Do you wanna come in there with us? No. Riley's gotta come too. Let's. Okay, you guys. We got, we got a window of time. We're taking it. It's yes. time for Q and A. Q and A. Get it. A. Let's just get Q right into A. it, should we? Get it. A. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who wants to go first? Did everybody do it or just me and Jensen? Just you and Jensen. Okay, that's fine. Okay, first question. This one's good and I feel like it'll be fun for somebody here. Oh, is it for Ray? Best ant quality that Riley has. Aww. Riley is truly the best aunt. Like, she, is. she really is. She's so attentive. She pays attention to all of them. When she plays with them, like she's not like a teenager and like, I feel annoyed. like get, they get annoyed. Like she's so patient, so loving, and they love her so much. Yeah. I Yesterday, mean, so we were just hanging out. She's like, who needs me to watch babies tomorrow? Yeah, she is the best aunt ever. And literally watched all of them this morning while we could go work and out. And I walk in and she's like, they're just being so good. And Brooks and Quincy are like crawling everywhere. <laughs> like, wow. Riley is the best aunt. We're really very lucky. Is. Thanks, guys. I love your kids. Okay, you ready? What are you doing? I got another one about Riley. Yeah. Me too. All of these are about Riley. Jeez, Riley. You might be the most popular. Is Rye the best dancer out of all of you, comparing all of you at her age? Definitely. Definitely. Like 100%. I think okay. Riley started at a higher level than any of us started at. Yes. Part it's of that the was generation. Yeah. I like the next generation coming up is oh, oh Quincy. <laughs> Quincy Chandler. <laughs> Nip. Nip slip. No, I just it's feel like she even is. Even the next generation is even better. Like it just keeps getting better. Okay. Will we get a Lake Powell video? So we, to be honest, no. we no, we didn't. We, we didn't film. We just kind of chilled, and it's honestly hard now because we all have babies. Like, I don't even know how we would have done it. We I done was literally thinking, I'm like, I don't want a single picture with you. I know. Or just, just have one. <laughs> <laughs> just one to you. Just me. Well, and like, we didn't get a cousin photo. We didn't I get know. a family photo. Like, we didn't do You're a lot of things busy. this year. It's but it, just so busy. But it was Gosh. fun. I mean, it was kind of nice to be off our phones and everything. Let her go. Okay, I have a good one. Stand. Oh, good job, Quinn. Do any of you want to move outside of Utah? I don't. I don't no. either. I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would be sad if something made us have to move out of Utah. I mean, I guess I lived out of Utah for a while. I think mostly, like, just to not be with everyone would be yeah. so sad. Yeah. But also, I can't think of a place that I'd like to be. I don't know. It would be fun to live, like, by the beach. But then I'd miss the mountains and, like, the season. So I feel um. like Florida is pretty identical to Utah, and it's warmer. Florida, Florida. is identical to Utah? It could not be more Her? different. <laughs> Guys, you're joking. Uh, How is it identical? It's not even a mountain in Florida. And it's freaking humid. It's just the same vibes. Like, same vibes as Utah. Well, I think it's really chill. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't know. I really like Florida. So Brindley might go to Florida. <laughs> Don't leave us. Okay, I get a lot of questions about Brooks's blonde hair and my, like how he's so light and me and Topher have dark hair. But <laughs> well, you have blonde, yeah. Okay, well, so I, yeah. And I saw another question, why do you have dark hair? So I had really blonde hair when I was Brooks's age and same with Topher, I was like toe And then I think when I hit like 13, 14, my hair started to go dark. And so then I just went dark a couple of years ago. But he does have really blonde hair and it's freaking cute. Does Jensen ever feel left out being the only sister with a boy? Um, honestly, no. They like play so fun together. I think it's really fun for me to have the only boy mm -hmm. just because it's different. But no. I honestly wonder if anyone of us is going to have a boy. I One of like you is bad. I feel like we will, yeah. There's no, no way. way. I don't know you guys. I just have all the boys and you guys have all the girls. It's really likely. I'm happy, honestly. He's, like, oh. he's fun. But no, I feel like right, I don't feel left out at all because they're not like doing things that, I don't know. I think they just do the same thing. They just play together and it's fun and different. Someone said, when will there be more babies coming? Oh my gosh, who asked me this? Um, I'm going to bow out of this question because I hope it's a <laughs> no brainer that I'm taking a minute. Me too, honestly. Yeah, baby number two anytime soon for Jensen and Brindley. Got to keep up with Lindsay. Um, I just, that sometime. it I, would be so yeah. freaking much. Yeah. I think like at least another year before I start thinking about it. 
I feel the same. Another year before you start thinking about it? Another year mm, before like it's like, okay, maybe we should start trying. Oh. So then maybe I have like a, probably three yeah, three years more. Yeah. I have unless you got pregnant like, right away. It hasn't even been a year since I gave birth. Yeah. It's just like seems so fresh you. still. Yeah, like giving know. birth, all that. I'm like, but then also like, like having June around. I'm like, oh my gosh, like newborns are literally the best. But then also that's that's what we can do. Just live through June. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do just, that for a minute. Do that. Yeah. Okay, I have a good question. Hey, who's more like Mindy and who's more like Josh? Riley. I feel like I don't really know. A good mix. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I feel like everyone's a mix except Jensen is all dad. Yeah. I don't have any mom. Uh, not you don't have any, but you are like 90% dad. Mostly dad. I yeah. feel like 90% dad. I feel like I'm 90% mom. <laughs> a little bit Brooks, of dad. Brooks, Don't pull her hair. <laughs> yeah. Good job, cute. Or what do you think I am? Do you think I'm all mom? Sage. Or do you think I'm a little dad? Or just all mom? No. You're like 5% like, dad. When I look at it, I feel like we all have our a little, little mix. Our anxiousness little mix. is dad. And we all have that. Okay. Whether that's like 5 to 10%. That's because he always scared us with like things. <laughs> he always made us think anything we would do would like kill us. Somehow. And then I feel like dad like has the so Because mom, mom isn't not social, but she's not like super social. Like, like, like she dad is, go up to somebody and start talking No, dad to is so social. And then he's social, also like pretty so that's goofy. Like mom. I'm not very social. Mom, I feel like she like picks she, and chooses. Yeah, when she, she can be. She's not like antisocial, but she's not like gonna be the first one to be like. Like we're all having dinner the other night, and Dad just gets up and goes to another table and sits with this couple and starts talking to them for like 10, 15 minutes. My mom would never do that. And like I wouldn't. I would really do that. it, but like I could if that makes sense. I don't know. That was a good question. That is a good question. When are you going to film a new intro? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like we should uh, stop putting our intro in our videos until we get a new one. Everyone's angry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I get it. You need to literally I get text it. Dylan right now. I know. I that was yeah. two Slaughter. and a half years ago. Like, Riley wasn't even diagnosed with diabetes. Sage I'm was a newborn. Literally text him right now and say, when can we do this ASAP? Because we seriously, and we have three new babies that need to be featured. But I'm glad we didn't do it before Jane was born because you know that would have been three yeah, years. Yeah, and then she would have been three years old before yeah. we did a new one. Hey, Seiji, we're not going to open that cake because the babies can't go downstairs. They'll get hurt. Thank you for listening. I'm literally texting the, our videographer right now. It will happen soon, you guys. Okay, this is a question that I've gotten a lot. Why doesn't June have a middle name? So fun fact, none of us girls have a middle name. Like our parents just didn't give us one. And I feel like they said because like eventually our married name would become our middle name, which it has. Like yeah. I, my legal name is Lindsay Arnold Cusick. You need to go potty? Yeah. So Sage has a middle name because it was like a really meaningful thing. We gave her Sam's mom's middle name because Sam's mom had passed away literally a year before Sage's birthday. Like Sage was born on the year anniversary of her death. So it's like, that just felt very meaningful. It had a reason and like, it was just, it was meaningful. And so with June, we kind of went back and forth because we didn't want to just make up a name because like I said, like we wanted it to be meaningful and we just didn't really feel like there was anything that like was net, like, I don't know how to explain it. No. There just wasn't a name that we were like, oh, and we didn't want to just make up a name because to me that just didn't feel necessary because like I don't have a middle name, so she just doesn't have a middle name. And yeah, that's kind of that. We probably, like, and we won't do one with any of our, I think we'll do one for a boy. Yeah. But, I think it's like tradition. Yeah. Like we'll we do, do one for, if we have a boy, we'll do one, but if we have more girls, we're, they won't have middle names. Because Quincy doesn't have a middle name, right? No. Yeah. Brooksy does, but... Yeah, so that's just kind of what happened. But it's confusing because Sage has one, but that's because we had a really meaningful like name to give her. So Your hair is that's so kind heavy. of it. Do you ever get headaches? Girl, headaches all day. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. Have you ever been jealous of any of your sisters? Who? Why? Yeah. How did you overcome it? I hate all of them. Sometimes I'm jealous of Riley when she wakes up at 10:30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. That's why you guys said it was one of the X, because you're just jealous. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true, Riley. It's true. You got us. 
Um, no, I don't feel like we've ever had that. We've all Wait, been very. Wait, is Riley auditioning for So You Think You Can Dance? It's So You Think You Can Dance. I don't think it's happening anymore. Yeah, I know they haven't even announced. Anything. I don't think it's happening. It's sad. Which is really sad. So no. Will any of you homeschool your kids? Oh no, no, not me. I will not be a good enough teacher for that. Yeah. And also I feel like it's very, I don't know, I feel very passionate that they get social time and like interact with other kids. Yeah. Okay, a couple more and then. <laughs> this is a good question, Brindley Nurse Brin. Is it possible that one of your kids will be diagnosed with T1D in the future because it is genetic? Is it genetic? T1D? Type one di diabetes. Oh, I mean, it is genetic, but no one in our family has it. Type right. two is genetic. <laughs> Yes. Type two is developed. No, type two is genetic. It's lifestyle. Well, it is developed, but you. You're it's more your, prone to you're it. You're easier to get. Say your dad has oh. type two. You're more easy to get type two if you have a lot of sugar in your life because your dad has it. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Right. But That's type right. one diabetes is not genetic, or it is. I thought it was. It's autoimmune. You can pass it down. So and also autoimmunes just happen all the time. So, so does that mean like, like that. it's more likely for Riley's kids or like is it our whole family because we, because it's in like, our family. There's no one in our family that has it though. That's a thing. Yeah, that is so, interesting. Well, I guess I we feel don't like, know about mom. I feel like either way, your odds are the same. Yeah. Interesting. But you can pass it down. Mm. Interesting. Okay. What are your favorite swig drinks? Everyone give your order. Go. Um, a strawberry breeze, a sparkling strawberry really, wow, <laughs> sparkling strawberry breeze blended. The camera's flashing. Okay, go, go, go fast. Sparkling fighter blended. Um, diet life's a peach. Sugar free Daisy Duke. Oh, wow. That sounds good. Our okay, this is what we're doing. We're going until our camera runs out. So let's speed fire, rapid fire. Ready? Skincare routine. Too fast. Oh. Um, do you have silly nicknames for each other? Poop head, Gypsy Grilly, Brindley Girl, and Lindsay Smelly. <laughs> no, I call her Omega Alpha Rai Rai, and then I'm Brinners. Why is she Omega? Because I'm this wise one. I'm Alpha because I'm Alpha! <laughs> Riley just got right, right. I already know that Lo's gonna make a thing of me going Alpha! Because <laughs> I'm Alpha! Because I'm Alpha! Alpha! <laughs> Riley could be Beta. Should I be worried about Sage and Brooks? No! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Brooksy? Is he getting you? Yeah. Oh no! Sagey, we have one question for you. Come here, come look in the camera. Hurry! Come look. It's gonna die. Okay, we are gonna ask you a question. It's very important. <laughs> Who is your best friend? Uh oh, Riley. Yeah. Riley. <laughs> okay, that, hugs. that'll end the end the Q and A. Can you say bye to everybody, right, Sagey? Guys, go to drinkag1.com slash Arnold Sisters and get your order in, because we love it. Thanks for watching. Bye. bye.